Hi! Bago tayo magsimula, I'm just gonna read to you yung ating passage for this devotion. I'm gonna read from Psalm chapter 91 verses 3 to 6. Ito yung sabi ng text. For he, God, will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noon day. Itong text na ito, sinulat to ni Moses after having completed yung tabernacle. So at this point, nasa desert pa sila. And ano nangyayari? Well, they were exposed to danger from enemies and from nature. Umaga, there are arrows from enemies. Tanghali, there are destruction from forces of nature. Gabi, pestilence in the darkness. So if we were to describe itong kalalagayan nila, it would be this word, vulnerable. Anything can happen at any time. And Moses labels yung emotion na naramdaman niya as their leader and nung people. Ano yun? Fear. And as a leader, both the political leader and the spiritual leader, paano ni Moses combat itong fear ng isang buong nation? Well, the answer was this. He tells them of who God is, that God is faithful. Moses sings in the middle of the night this song, God's faithfulness is a shield and buckler. Una, God is faithful to His own covenant, to His own promise. If He promised to bring the Israelites through the desert, no army, no plague, no drought, no famine will stop God. Second, God is faithful to His own people. When God takes a people for Himself, He takes full personal responsibility over what happens to them. And it's both comforting and alarming. Alarming siya kasi God treats His people differently when they sin. He disciplines them. He makes sure na ayaw mo nang gawin after yung mali mong ginawa. And it's painful and it's hard. But it's it's comforting kasi that means if anyone were out to harm you, it's as if they were out to harm God and God will protect you himself. Anything done against the people of God, God treats as if it was against him. And as Moses says in the previous song, God will make us rejoice for as many years as we have been humbled and faced adversity. I think God in Psalm 91, a God faithful to his promise and to his people. Now, uh, before 2020, some of you might have had a hard time relating doon sa passage na yun. Plague? Pandemic? Famine? Calamity? <sniffs> Kuya Kyle, listen. Those are things that were way back. Hindi yan nangyayari ngayon. <laughs> and then 2020 happened. Calamity? You got a volcano spewing some stuff. You've got a pandemic, which in biblical language, a plague roaming around. And you've got some of the recent events of evil men out to kill people. So listen, you and I are in no different a situation as the Israelites. You and I in this world will find it so easy to be afraid, to be worried, to be anxious. But the God of Psalm 91 is your God and my God. He is faithful to His promises. He promised to give us peace that this world cannot give. He promised to never leave us nor forsake us. He promised that those who seek Him and His righteousness first will have all the things we need added to us both in this life and the next. And He is faithful to His people. In fact, we owe Him twice over. In the Garden of Eden and in the Garden of Gethsemane, in creation and in redemption, nung ginawa niya tayo, He gave us ourselves, our bodies, our personalities, and our souls. At nung namatay siya sa cruz, for us, He gave us Himself. He lived the perfect life we couldn't live, and He died the miserable death that we ought to have died. So, you may still be carrying the fears and scars from 2020. Drop them before this faithful God of Psalm 91. And this year, whatever life may bring, face those fears and hardship with the character of God planted firmly in your heart. God is faithful.